Good morning, Dave Snyder here. It is January the 4th, 2013. Okay, so last night I was checking some things out. This is the side of the moon that we do not see, of course, and it's very, very crappy picture of the moon because this is from Google Moon. And the Google Moon, they make the moon crappy just for this reason, because if, you, if they were to make it detailed and add in all the little details in this picture, we would be able to just take Google Earth and, or Google Moon and put it right over Google Earth and see that the moon's hit the Earth real simply. But they leave so much out of this picture. But, but I, what I did is I took this picture. It's a reverse picture of the moon. And I don't remember what this crater's called, but I know what this one is called now. I, I, now that I know that know where it goes. So anyways, I put that over the North Pole. Here's the, here it is over the North Pole. This is a picture of the North Pole that I saved a while back. And it's... Uh, I got it in the Pacific because, I, like I explained, I can't do an overlay at the pole. So, this crater, this crater over this weather over the North Pole, I mean this this uh, side of the moon over the North Pole, shows me that all these lines are in there. You can see all these lines. Check out the lines first. See the lines, how they all kind of match there. Okay, and then I've seen this in the weather, this Compton, this, this is called Compton, this crater here. Name of it is Compton, and it shows the weather showing it right there, right there. So what I did is I saved a little bit of, the, I saved a picture, a close-up picture of this area without any weather, and that is, uh, I'll just show it to you over this, I guess. And I'll turn these off. Okay, so there it is. I saved a picture of that up from the North Pole, this area where it showed the crater being, and then I overlaid it, and and you got to realize the weather is not right over, not going to be right over the spot that. It, because the weather showed it like right here, okay. So, it's, but I brought it. I brought it here, and this is a colorized picture. I tried. I saved both pictures, but I didn't. Couldn't find it after I saved it. So this one's pretty, pretty detailed as far as the uh, land features go. It's better than Google Moon would ever be. But I saved the other picture from from the picture I got from the internet. But this is a reverse picture, as you can see, Compton, and it's right here. See this? See this band? See this right here? This line. That is right there. So I line that up, and then just take a look at the rest of the picture. Look at this over here. And you can even see that circle. Let's just zoom in on that little spot where that circle, that crater is, and just see. I see one right here. I see actually a circle right there. See right here? Right where it falls. Right there, but you can see how it fits the coast coastline you can see this goes right there I'm sure of it I mean this right here you can see this I mean it just shows that it goes right there in that area you see that this line right here almost almost see that line where the that'd be that crack I would imagine maybe I don't have it big enough yet no that's probably big enough but you see how it fits that coastline, you see how it fits that line in the wall right here, you can see how it just fits there. And it, the, the weather showed me, to, I mean, it just took a second to put it there, and the weather showed me that it was there. I mean, the weather shows you everything, pretty much. The weather shows it all. And there it is again, here, here it is again in the weather, watch. Right there, showing it in the weather. And once you see that, you start to look at the rest of it, and you start to understand what Google Moon is. See how the what? See this? See the circle here in the clouds? You can see this right here. Barely see it, but you, they they give you just enough so you can see it. Though, if you got a big enough screen, you will see it. Yeah, they give us some real crap pictures. And then I noticed this picture or this cloud pattern here, which is very familiar. And I lined it up, but I'm you know. And I'm sure that I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. That that's that W shape, upside down W. It's that claw print one. It's this one here. I do believe. I'm not saying it's perfectly aligned or anything, but that would be this one right here. That's that one right there. And that could be why they're hiding that little spot right there, possibly. See that little island right there? Did you see that? Right off to the side, it fits right in that little spot. See that? It's in the right place. 
It just uh, doesn't look like it fits with the rest of it because it's I got the clouds over everything, so it's hard to see. But actually, you can kind of see the curve here. That that that's a familiar shape for sure. I mean, I know that's that from that right there. I mean, you just, after you do this for a while, you start to recognize the shapes of the of you you know you get you familiarize yourself with the with the shapes of the craters and things like that and you start to recognize things in the in the weather i mean it's not crazy not crazy at all if you think if you can if you know what you're looking at i mean i've been looking at this for a while now and i, I know exactly what i'm seeing here either the moon's hit the earth or they're they, they're pulling off a pretty good hoax with these images like I said, all sides of the moon have hit the Earth. Every crater you see on the moon is from hitting the Earth, and I'm sure there's a bunch been a bunch of little things rain back down after it hits the Earth. I'm sure that a lot of stuff rains back down and hits the Earth too. But that W shape, is that claw print, or whatever you want to call it. Now I'm sure if I went in, it went into uh, if I wanted to save this little bit of this picture right here and put it it would fit right there in Siberia. I'm sure of it. I mean I can see this line this line of weather here. I can see that in the in the, in the picture. It's following that line right there. It takes practice. It's real hard to do anything like uh, right off to the side of the pole like this. I mean this is in the middle of the Pacific, but I've still got this picture pulled up pretty far towards the pole. That's where it likes to hit. That's where it likes to hit. As you can see, this is the North Pole right here. And let's see where it basically centers out at with this impact I showed here. Okay, so I guess this one on top. All right. North Pole's here. Magnetic North is down here. Right here, so I'm, I don't know. It's, it's, it looks like the center of it. This impact would be right there. Me, like the pole used to be right there. Uh, you know, it's, who knows how squarely it hits the pole? But look at that. It, that that's on the pole, right on our pole, right there. That spot. But you can see all those lines. You can see the lines in, in that weather. I mean, you can see this line right here. You can faintly see it because this is Google Moon. It's total crap. I mean, they give you they give you basically shit. You know what I mean? If we had the real moon images, I'm telling you right now, this would line right up, and you would see it so clear. But this is, I mean, this is just what Google Moon gives us. I mean, you could go and take, get a, a close-up picture of these craters. So why do we why do we get this crap? I mean, look, I'll do it right now. I'll, go to, I'll search it right now. It's right there. there Compton Crater's already in there. See, I already searched it. Okay. And then here's some pictures that I got. Images right here. Okay. I mean, they got close-up images of it, so why do we get the crap? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, I could put this right in there. Right, I saved this already. I, I don't know why it didn't come up in my computer, but... Save image. It's going to show it's there. Oh, that's the wrong folder. That's why. Should be in this one. Save uh, images. When it ever says images, it never saves it right. Something's up with that. Oh, I, I got to click on it. That's why I cancel. Click on it first. Then save it. Okay. Still, I, I did that yesterday, but didn't do that. Okay, normal Compton. Okay, that's what I was looking for to yesterday. Okay, complete. Close Google Earth. Close that. And bring back up this. That one, this one. Hit the overlay button. Normal Compton. Right, 
here right click on it open with Microsoft Paint image flip rotate flip horizontal hit OK hit save close the window hit open okay now you're ready to you gotta shrink it down of course okay Big crater. And I'm not doing anything to scale right now. Everything's just just so I can show that it fits. I mean, I'm just going to make it make it fit, and that's all. There's, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to bring up the other one to try to steer me in the right direction, so I don't take forever to do it. Um, that's this one, right? Okay, so bring this one to the top and fade it in and out, so I can find out where I'm going here. Maybe you put it right in place does that sometimes okay it goes around I see like this it's like these little I these these little islands or whatever little mountains or whatever all on that side so I bring it over here just like that and that should be close to what I got already in place yep there it is okay hit okay take away the that one and check it out. But this one doesn't have that this band here just that you can see. That's the only problem with that one. But it's the real crater at least. We can uh check it out. See what's going on here. A little bit maybe. how this kind of comes down and curves up and around to a point and it comes back this way we can see if that's there see that I definitely see that I have no doubt that it goes that it's it, it's hit right here I have no doubt look at look at this look at this right here look at this area right here yep, I can see that see this curve right here see that curve So just take a look at things. Look at, I mean, you, you just got to, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. It took me a long time to get to this point to where I could just put shit down and have it fit. I mean, it took a long time. And once you get, I mean, you can watch my videos and get a starting point. Once you get a starting point of, of something that you know for sure fits there, you can build from that. You, you understand me? You can build from that. And you can, you, once you get, so, maybe may more than one thing in place, it's a little easier if you get a couple things. And then, then it starts to, the puzzle pieces start to fall together, you know what I mean? You start to figure it out, how things go. It's, it is a puzzle. It is absolutely a puzzle. I mean, it is a difficult puzzle to figure out completely. I mean, I, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm even close to solving, to figuring it all out. And I don't think the scientists could figure it all out either. Maybe, maybe they have. Who knows? They got a lot of people doing it. It's just, this is just me doing it by myself, so... I mean, I I have figured out that the moon's hit the Earth. I have no doubt about it. And if I did, if I if if I was at all had had any doubts at all, I wouldn't even post videos. I would I'd be an idiot to do that. I'd be stupid. But you can check it all yourself. There's hardly ever it, they don't often show the North Pole weather without without this at the top. Where is this thing? I gotta get rid of it. Oh, it's, it's up here a little bit. Okay, so up here at the pole, when you turn on the weather, you typically get uh, no weather. There it comes. During the daytime, you can get a, a pretty good picture of the North Pole right around here because there's no weather around the pole. But in the evening time, when the weather starts to come around and, the, and this what fills with clouds or whatever, you, they usually have a big blank spot here. Where, I mean, you can see the North Pole and all this, but no weather in this area, in this like a big square they have here. But right now, since there's no weather in, the, in this area, it's nice and clear. They they'll show you the North Pole. Let's go check the South Pole. South Pole looks pretty good. Well, I should save that. 
Yep, I think I will. I think I will save that, and we'll just do a quick overlay with that real quick, and I'll put that right in place. Watch. South Pole is the, is is a big giveaway right there. I'm telling you, it's a big one. <clears throat> South Pole. And I've shown that in several videos. I'm just going to call it South Pole. I don't know, good one. So many other ones that I might not be able to find if I number it. Okay, so then I'll turn off the weather. And then I'll go up to my trusty old overlay in the ocean in the Pacific up here of Mare Oriental. And that's up here. The ways right here. Okay, and then I'm going to take that picture that I just saved and put it in place pretty simply. Let's see, I'll put SP. SP. Good one. Where's it at? Right here. Okay. Open it. Just let's just see where it puts it to begin with. I don't think it's going to put it right in place because I'm not doing it like where it belongs, actually. Okay, so, oh, actually, it did put it pretty close. Because I usually line this up, this little notch right here, I usually line that up with uh, this part right here, this point. So it could be really close. I mean, this 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 crater is the whole of Antarctica. It is impacted Antarctica straight on, just like you see it right there. It might be a little bit big. I, got, I usually have to shrink the our Antarctic picture down a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Turn it a little bit. Get that lined up right about there. I had another one I did the other day that was it lined up totally different, but it was so nice it lined up just beautifully. And I got that somewhere in my saved in my thing, I, my uh, overlay somewhere. Okay, so let's just take a look at this side right here. See this right here, this this band of weather, this pattern right here of weather. Okay, that goes with that right there. You see see how this? It's really difficult to see. I understand, but this 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 is the same thing. That cloud pattern is the same is that right there you see how this curves around down here this this is that what that weather pattern shows this whole pattern sometimes really well but you can see up here this little thing with the beak looking thing it's right there see that with the hole right there okay now it's not perfectly f shaped but it, it is the same thing as this right here what you see right here is the same thing as this right here same thing Some days are better than others for the weather, as you will, you will find out. I mean, I showed some pretty pretty amazing ones already on this. I mean, here's that point that I pointed out before. Comes up to a point right here, like the pyramid shape, and it's right there in place. Right here is the point right here. Doesn't look as good as one I've done a while back, but this is just one way that it fits around. Like like I said, look, it hits the South Pole, it hits the North Pole. And it hits in so many different ways, it starts to get confusing. But it does hit the poles. It absolutely has hit the poles many times. And that's probably why they don't, heart, I mean, I'm sure that is why they don't show the North Pole weather all the time or the South Pole weather all the time. When the patterns are, are obvious, they will not show the North Pole. I've only saved a couple of the North Pole that were really, really good. And I'll show you those right now. The North Pole. This is beautiful right here. You're going to love this one. And I've showed it before, but I, I like to update once in a while. I think it's just right here. Copernicus. This one. Uh, come on. That's, that's Copernicus. Not, not the North Pole one, I don't think. It's right here. Right here. North Pole clouds. Is it this one? Here we go. Look at this weather pattern. I was able to save the North Pole one day. Okay, this is a really good, really good one right here. You're going to love this. Okay, so is it this one? Or 
it is this one. Yeah, okay, there you go. This is Copernicus. And look at the pattern. Look at the pattern right in the center here. Look at the, look at Greenland edges right up against this look. And then you look at this like there's like this cone shape. You look at this like this. Look right here where Copernicus is. It comes down like this to a point right here. It comes up like this. That pattern right here looks like like an ice cream cone shape. And you can see the same thing in the weather pattern right here. Look, same freaking thing right there. Then you come over here to Kepler, and you see these fingers, that, finger rays, or these rays that come off here, right? These bright areas there, and look at these islands, how they're shaped. It's that they're, hi they're hiding the weather right here in this one spot. But you see how these fingers come off. This, these are like f these islands are all, they just fit right in there. Okay. And let's see, you got this right here. That we just looked at in the beginning. There's that Compton crater. It's going to show itself right in here somewhere. Pretty sure. Well, it's not going to show. It's not going to. It's right here. You can see where I think it's right here. Is it right here? Oh, it's over here. Uh, no, it's not there, is it? Yeah, it's over here. I think the Compton one was right here. But it's not showing it in this one. Yeah, it's in a different spot. It's right, right up here. So it's not showing it in the weather that day. But it's showing this, this right here. Look at this. See that, that line that comes across right here? That, that kind of curves? Showing that. That's for sure. Showing this island. See this see this shape here? That those are those islands you see right there? This island here. Those are there. It just fits here. I mean you can see Copernicus. Look at the pattern of Copernicus. You see where Greenland starts right here? You can definitely see where Greenland starts right there. I mean uh, you know this is a uh, pretty important to figure this out. The weather shows you. The weather will show us throughout the, with every day the weather shows us something. And I mean it shows, this is from weather from a while back, but it definitely shows. You can see that shape, that conical shape right there. And you can see that right there. Absolutely. Along with this line, the curve there, that's Imbrium uh, right there. This is the side of the moon we see. That's why it's so important. Do you I mean, that's that's what you need to understand. This is the side of the moon that faces us right now. Right now. Okay, this is the side we see. And it's hit the North Pole. It has hit the North Pole. At one point in time, I don't know when it hit. I don't care when it hit. All I know is that it hit. Or it it's shaping the weather at the North Pole. I don't know how it could do that from outer space, but I mean... It could, I mean, it's just right in our face, pretty much. You just have to, it takes practice. I, I learned the weather by accident. That was an accident. I was doing this before I even knew about the weather. Then I just accidentally clicked on the weather button one day, and I said, holy shit. I mean, it just lined, everything was, I, so I started going back over all my old overlays that I had done, and man, it was just, the weather would fit everything so beautifully. It was. I, I just started finding more. I just started using the weather to find them, because the weather will show circular patterns all the time. Not all the time, but I mean, certain days you'll see big circles all over the earth in in the clouds, and as soon, when you see those, or just a you know a really unique pattern, you want to check that out. If you see a pattern, you want to check it out. If it's circular in shape or just a unique shape that you can recognize that's on the moon, you want to check it because it telling you you will, you will find things I mean look at the earth just look at the earth people look at the earth okay look at there's a big giant bulge right here what creates that big bulge in the ocean I mean think about that what creates Mariana's Trench the deepest place on earth and it's a big circle it's a freaking circle look at that this is a circle a big circle perfect circle from an impact all look at this Central Asia is a big circle Big circle, North America, and they got a big circle. Not really circular shapes over here, but you got cir there's basically circle there. But South America, big circle right here, big giant circle, 
North America. You don't see the circle because people don't pay attention. You got There's two circles in North America. You see this curve that comes like this? And then the other, it's right here. Big circle. And then the other side is basically a circle too. You see how it overlaps right here? That's the overlapping circle I always talk about. The double circle, which is right on the moon that I've showed before many times. Many times. This is the double circle right here. See this? This is the double circle that I talk about right here. See how they overlap each other? That's the double circle pattern that you see right here. One, two. One, two. North America. One, two. They overlap each other. So um, you just got to really look at the earth closely. There's impact right here. This is an impact as well. Right here. Right there. Okay, you see where you can see what the hell what in the hell does this? Okay, what's this curve and you see the land just change right here. All of a sudden change. And it's a big circular shape. You can see it. if you follow this around it just goes like this and it comes up and comes around. It's just a big circle. And they're all over the earth. South Pole. Look at the, look at look at the look at around the outside of the South Pole. Okay. Big I mean you can see North Pole, same thing. Big circle at the North Pole. Look at the, look at. I mean, you can see, you can think. Okay, it's because the Earth is round and every, it's the Arctic Circle. It's a circle because the Moon hits there. This is a big circle because the Moon directly impacts the North Pole and the South Pole. So I'll just leave it at that. I've I've said that a thousand times. I don't. I, I just don't want to keep beating a dead horse. I just, you know, I'm trying to get people to to really spend a little time doing this because it, it's you know you, I. I find a lot of stuff, and I'm, but I'm not on it all day. I, I'm figuring if I, if, if I, you know, while I'm not on there, someone else could be looking too, and find we could find a lot of things, and we could get this figured out. You know, I, 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 the clues that I find tell me, like I watched this documentary that told that was talking about the magnetic field of the Earth. It's an old documentary, and it's on YouTube. I'm sure we've all seen it. Everybody that's watching this has probably seen it. You know that where they got that goofy song with the, uh, talking about the magnetic field. You know, okay, well. If you watch that, you'll pay attention. They say that they, the guy talks about how the the magnetic field may not may last till the till the through through the through this millennium, and that means that it's going to be dis, starting to disappear around the next millennium, which is the 30th century. And then you just watch all these other all these other science fiction not, stories and things. A lot of them take place in the 30th century. A lot of them. Um, I mean, I you look up thir just look up 30th century. On Wikipedia or something, look up the 30th century and look how many civilizations started in the 30th century BC, and then just like I don't know, just we need to figure. That's that's how we're going to figure out the timeline of of how often it happens. If we fig we got to figure that out. It's when like the civilizations started. You know, there, a lot of them start in the 30th century for some reason. I don't know. I just looked up 30th century, and they all, there's so many civilizations that have recorded starting in that century. Now that could mean nothing. I don't know. But, you know, you just got to, that's why um, I, I look at other people's research. I mean, I know I, there's, there's people out there that are researching other things that, are, that are relate to this, completely relate to this, and, and, and almost explain it. You know, in, in, in the ancients, I, the ancient people are explaining it in their own way, and we're trying to understand it in our own way, in the way that we see things today with the science, science and everything kind of, screwing us all up because the science that they give us is, is screwed up. It's screwed up. And it, it all has to do with them wanting to find all the gold before anybody else on the earth and all the other riches on the earth from the moon hitting the earth. That's why they lie to you. If you don't think that they're lying to you, you just have to check. I mean, the moon is bigger. The moon's hit the earth. So, let's leave it at that. You know, share, share your comments. I mean, if you know anything that you find anything, share it. Please. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.